So Riley Mullins, a young man who has probably never been asked a day in his life to join a sport, was someone that I identified as someone who could help us. He's a young man who, who's a big body, that's not easily duplicated on this campus especially, and a hard worker. I, I joined the team because coach asked me and I I'd never played football before and I didn't plan on playing football. You know, he always talked about, you know, playing video games and, you know, he was a, he was a real mama's boy. Coach finally convinced me to join. He'd been trying to convince me since freshman year. When he came out for football, I was extremely surprised. I did not expect him to come out playing football. Um, but over summer, he was there every day. Every day I was there, he was there. And, you know, he was always running. He was trying his hardest. And every time we would be doing gassers or Californias, he was always sprinting and running as hard as he could. So we're on the sidelines. The, the fans, the whole, everybody else is cheering, Riley, Riley, Riley. And we're all looking at him. We're all looking at big number 78. We're all waiting for Coach to put him in. None of us thought Coach was actually going to put him in. The guys were chanting his name. The crowd was chanting his name. Dan's crew was chanting his name. And... I thought to myself, hey, it's the first half, we're up big, let's put him in, let's see what he can do. Coach asked me, can you play without your glasses? I said, yeah, I, it, it's there, there for far sight, not near sight. And, I, and then I think it was Coach D, who was next to me, said, you know what that means? I'm like, oh wait, that means I'm gonna play. So I was sitting on the sideline during defense and everybody was cheering because everybody wanted Riley to get in, but I'm like, no, they're not gonna, he's not gonna put him in yet, it's still the first half. And I see Coach turn, and he looks at Riley, and he's like, Riley, get over here. And then Riley's like, yes, sir. And he just runs over to Coach. I decided to throw him in at the, uh, at the applause of the crowd and at the applause of dance crew and everyone else in the stands. Then Coach said, uh, Riley, you're going in. I'm like, oh, OK, crap. I've never, never played before. I'm excited. I can't wait. I'm finally going to play. And I was nervous for him. I really was. I was nervous for him. But I knew that we had prepared him well and he had prepared himself well individually. Uh, we were getting a huddle and I looked and I was asking Joe something and out of nowhere, the place just erupted and everybody was roaring and, and yelling and cheering and I look over and I see Riley with this big 78 on his chest just running out to the field. Go, 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 go. The ball comes out loose, we're all screaming, Fumble, fumble, fumble. And then we see Riley. Number 78 falls on the ball. Then I notice there's a ball below me. I'm like, oh no. We t we, and I was like, Tuesday. We practice, we practice that every Tuesday. So I, I grabbed the ball and dropped. It became a turtle. And everybody just snaps. Sideline snaps. The, crowd, the fans snap. Everybody's going crazy. <laughs> Riley's not a football player, and he got a, his first fumble recovery, his first big play, his first minutes of ever playing any varsity football game ever, and it was just an amazing moment to share with him, and I'm happy that I was there on the field with him. I was like, oh, I gotta get the ball. I fell on it, and that happened. I love you, Riley! It was, it was great. It was a great time. Yeah, we have a lot of we have a lot of players like Riley that are on the team, and uh, you know, just a lot of people that aren't really football players. You know, they never played a real contact sport or anything heavy, but we all wear that 110218 on our chest, and we wear it with pride. And every day we go out and we just try our hardest, and we just play as hard as we can.